Hey guys, so we're taking a look at Suko and Mothra 2024 from Godzilla X Kong the New Empire. I'm currently watching that in my room right now, but uh, yeah, not in my room, I'm at my desk. But um, so SH Monster Arts, Suko and Mothra. Uh, series obviously the new empire uh, so pre-order is open tomorrow uh, release date February 2025 ages 15 and up price 11,000 yen including tax and 10,000 yen uh, tax I believe too so 11,000 yen that is $71 Ten thousand is sixty five, somewhere between there, and um, I'm not really too excited for Suko, but let me explain why. Whoops. Okay, so from what you see on Suko, you see his face. Um, Mothra, on the other hand, she looks awesome. Suko's model. Okay. So, Suko's model, for me, I like it. The only thing that I don't like is his face. Not saying that it's a bad, like, sculpt of his face, but I don't uh, like it as much as I like the others. Um, I don't think they covered his whole face, because I don't think it... Actually, I think his eyes was green. I can't remember exactly, but... Um, like they should have added some red paint just a little bit of red paint that he had when we first seen him in the film um I like the scar that he has it looks exactly how it, he is in the movie um baby gorilla I like it or orangutan whatever then you got Mothra uh Mothra she looks exactly how she looked it in the film. I like how her wings are. They look exactly like a moth. And yeah, I mean, the details on her looks pretty nice. I like it. Yeah, there's really nothing to complain about Mothra. And then here's Kong and Suko together. Him leading Kong to the way of the Scar King. Now. <coughs> This is where things get a little bit irritating. So, in um, Suko and Mothra, there's a, another Kong head. I'm not for sure if you can see it. Whoops. No. Uh, let me. Not too sure on if guys could see it but there's a fang of him roaring now that comes with Mothra and Suko now the irritating part about that I can't get out of this the irritating part about that is that I feel like I know a lot of people feel like this I think at least but I feel like with the beast glove, Shimu comes with an extra head. Um, and then Suko and Mothra comes with an extra head. I feel like they should have just put the heads, because all together would have been four heads if they didn't do all this separately. So I feel like they should have did um the two heads and the beast glove in 2024 Kong instead of just having him by himself without the silver teeth tooth and the beast glove I feel like having it separately is a little bit extra money but for Suko and Mothra it's kinda okay-ish because it's you're not spending another hundred dollars or two hundred sixty for just to get um, Shimu herself and another head sculpt of Kong and Scar King is 
a uh, hundred something from other places but for me I got him for uh, 90 something can't remember exactly but he was pretty cheap on awesome collectors which is where I shop for some of my action figures like I will be getting well I won't be getting Shino yet but I will eventually uh, yeah but with Suko the one thing that I don't like about him is this face I thought they had like an extra picture let me see if I can zoom in some more I hate I don't hate I don't like his roaring face it doesn't really suit him in my opinion but other than that Suko's model his um Articulation looks pretty decent. As you can tell, it's not uh, the same as uh, Kong and the rest of them. But you also have to realize this is like a mini uh, Kong and it's a baby. So it's kind of understandable that they would have these little ball joints. Well, not ball joints, but hinges as to keep him from falling apart. Because I did have somebody in my Discord say if they didn't make a Suko, it would be kind of hard for them to do it because it would probably fall apart, which is understandable because look at them. If you didn't have the little hinges or whatever they are, Suko might have would have fallen apart right when you got them, maybe. But good thing that they did that before publishing him, Suko. And Mothra, like I said, will, will will release, and I keep I keep doing that, and I don't know I don't know why. Will release February two thousand twenty five. Ain't no telling what day, but they will release February two thousand twenty five next year. Uh, you could check them out on your local retail stores, like Big Bad Toy Store, Amazon. Crunchy Roll Entertainment Earth, but me personally, I'm gonna go to um, Awesome Collectors because I, I get pretty decent deals from them. And right now, I want to say Shinu is on sale still. I said she's not out of stock yet, but mm, excuse me. So, let's go ahead and get into higher toys, where all the fun begins. So, higher toys, uh, Comic Con, I think was today or a few days ago, whatever. Uh, look what we have here. We have the Godzilla X Kong, the new Empire Kong. Price not yet uh, shown. Exclusive basic under d approval process. Um, from what I am understanding, that Kong will at least be around maybe at the end of this year or like the middle because as you can tell right now he looks pretty pretty decent which his head the CGI on him looks exactly like the film you could tell by his uh, grinning face That right there is just mwah, chef's kiss. All of it just looks awesome. Oh, and then you got the Shinu statue. I don't think we have that out yet on Haya. I can't remember. But if we don't, or if we do, I will be getting this too. Because that will be my first statue. But forget about the Shinu right now. Main focus of them all is Kong. Because I will say... Haya Toys might have won, my opinion again, 
Hayatoi might have won the Kong battle <laughs> where um Kong on their end looks actually realistic. The Kong that I have I have two Kongs. I have two thousand twenty one and two thousand twenty four from SH Monster Arts. One is from Amazon and one is from uh Awesome Collectors for twenty nine bucks. Well, when I bought it it was twenty nine bucks. But I f I I personally think Haya Toys won, cause look at 2024 Kong, looks real realistic. His axe doesn't look translucent though, that's the only problem, and the axe looks realistic as well. Everything on it on 2024 Kong looks awesome. I love his grinning face, his calm face, and you got the script the roaring face. Now that, I will say. San Diego Comic Con 2024 starts now. Okay, so it must have started today, I guess. I'm not for sure. And then they also got some more uh, Godzilla related. Heat Ray, Godzilla, uh, Hokadi version. I, I doubt that I pronounced that right, but it's okay. Oh, and then another thing with Godzilla, I mean not Godzilla, Kong, he has the, another hand, I guess, suppose, like a, another hand, uh, scope, or whatever, but, um, so you got Heat Ray Godzilla, is that minus one? No, it's not, it's not minus one, it's hot, I don't know how to pronounce it, and then you got Godzilla, all of these are unapproved pro approval process. And you got Mecha Godzilla from a later time, not not Mecha Godzilla. And then from up here, you could see a few other things. See if I can get a see if I can get some pictures of that. I doubt that I can, but yeah. So obviously, from right here, you could see Godzilla, the statue right up here I don't have a picture of it yet but I will look after and I will put a picture of it in the video once I find it and then you have the heat ray Godzilla um, under approval process I'm not for sure unlimited version I'm confused on what that means but hey uh, you have heat ray Godzilla I want to say this one is 2024 version. I'm not for sure. I can't s tell, but it says version at the end. But, um, yeah. I will be getting Suko and Mothra. Because, one, first ever Mothra action figure that I've ever got. So, that's one. And two, I want Suko so I could complete my 2024 Godzilla X Kong collection. I'm currently at uh one, but I have two coming. I have Scar King and Haya Toys. Uh, Shimu. I just need to get. I think I'm gonna get Haya Toys Godzilla. Ver uh, evolved version and SH Monster Arts because I did say I was going to do a compare and contrast I'm going to do a compare and contrast for 2024 Kong SH Monster Arts and I'm going to do a compare and contrast uh, Kaya Toys Kong once that comes out I'm not too sure I'm not for sure on a, a date when it will come out but I will be doing that um, compare and contrast for Shimu's I think I already said that. Uh, and I mean, hey, if they come out, if High Toys come out with a Scar King, I don't see why not. I don't see why I wouldn't do a compare and contrast video on Scar King. But, uh, yeah, so uh, make sure you guys check out my Patreon. It's for free. Nothing too crazy yet. There may be some changes down the line. I'm currently uh, trying to figure out how to 
have people pay a dollar a month right now not too sure but um yeah make sure you check out my patreon my discord will be in the description down below we actually chat a little bit have a channel for figure reviews and uh, all my other channels etc but I will be heading off of here and I will see you guys in the next one make sure you like comment subscribe share and turn on that post notification bell to see more videos like this I'll see you guys another time.